Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change textures on mobs. We'll be making a change there on that creeper back there. And we'll be using the Nova Skin program to do that. Now, make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's switch over to Nova Skin, and I'll show you how to edit mobs. Here we are at Nova Skin, and that's novaskin.me. I'll put a link for that right there, and also you can look at my description for a link to take you right to this. And what you do is just go over here, it says Resource Pack Creator, click on that. This takes you into the NovaSkin beta. They never updated this, but again, it's okay because what we need is right here, and I'll show you what I mean. Go over here, left-hand side, and here you can choose what you want to edit. Entities, armor, blocks, items, sounds, realms. We want entities right there. Click on that, and then choose your entity. We want the creeper folder right there. We want this one here, creeper PNG. So click on that. That opens that creeper up right here in the editing workspace. Now here's what I like about this. You can click outside here, and move this around in 3D and look at the whole mob model just like that. It makes it real easy to see. If you use the right mouse button and click on a surface, you can show just that one piece. You can still see the rest in there. It's kind of a little ghosting, but you can see the part that you're working on right there, making it real easy to do. Now we'll just change just this middle section, just the body section, just to keep things kind of fast here in the video. And then right down below here, this is your tools. You have different colors. You can do everything off of just one color if you want to. I'll click on the first one here. This is red. In here, you can choose any color you want, right hand side like that. And then you can click on noise and put some noise. This is kind of randomizing it like that. I'll do a noise right there. And I want kind of a yellow in here. Go over here, push the upper right hand corner, and it's going to push the color up to that point. There it is. So it's kind of a nice orangey yellow. I think that's a pretty good one, maybe a bit brighter. I'm going to move this control here a little higher up, make it a bit more yellow in there. The upper right hand corner, that's full saturation. That's the brightest that the color is going to get. We have our noise set. We're working with a pencil right here. We're going to be coloring individual pixels, and we're set this at just one pixel size. That's fine. You see there's the pencil. Then just take it and draw right on the model. I'm going to do just a line like that. Notice how if I go off that you can kind of see it's a bit random in there. Looks a bit better. Click out here. See there's a hand. You can click and then drag this thing around and look at different parts. Let's just go right here and I'll color in this little bit. And I'll leave it at showing two sides. Let's come down two rows and then down here. We're going to give this kind of a B coloration in here for the body. Go like that. There we go. I'll come outside and drag this around, and let's go so we can see two sides again. There it is. And let's just do two rows here. Leave two rows open. Two rows again. There it is. And one more time right down here. And then because we see the top, I'll do the top here in this kind of yellow color as well. There it is. Just kind of get that filled in. Now the bottom is going to be for the other color, so leave that alone. Now our second color, let's go back over here. I want to have kind of browns, so I'm going to come down just a little bit like that. Give me some oranges and browns, and somewhere down here is kind of a darkish brown color. Let's see how that looks. Not quite dark enough, come down a bit further. We'll see how that is. That's pretty good. It's kind of a nice dark brown color in there. I think that looks good. And let's just fill in these other rows here. And then come down, we'll do the bottom row right there. Go outside, we'll spin this around. You can see the other two sides here, the side in the front, and then just do that, and right down here, there we go, and do the bottom row right there, and I'll come out here and spin up, so you can see the bottom, and this just fill the bottom in with that brown. So it's kind of randomizing that color, looks a bit better that way. There we go. Okay, right click again to bring back the whole image. There it is, there's our B coloration here for the creeper. Now you can take all the time you want and do real fancy colorations in here. Again, I'm just going fast on this just to make this video a bit shorter and easier to watch. Now we need to get this over there into Bedrock. And for that, go up here, it says save, click on that. And then over here it says download, click right here. And you want this thing here, this image. So right click, save image as, right there. And then choose a place on your hard drive. Now I made a folder on my hard drive, I call it Packs right here. I'll build the whole thing inside this folder. So make sure you have a new folder. If you don't, go ahead and make a new folder right here. Click on New Folder, make a new folder, and it'll work inside this area here. There's Packs, that's fine. It says Download PNG. That's okay. The actual name here for this is Creeper. Creeper PNG, that's good. Choose Save, and that's now saved onto my hard drive. And we're done now with NovaSkin. Go ahead and just close this out. Okay, let's take a look at that folder on the hard drive, and we'll then work on setting it into a resource pack. 
there we go there's my folder on my computer right there that's the packs folder and there is that Kerber PNG now to make the resource pack you need to know where to put this and you need a couple of other files for that we're going to have to download a vanilla resource pack here you go and you want to go to minecraft.net and it's in the add-ons folder i'll put this link in the description so you can just click on the link and get right here now once you're here scroll down go past these two things here and come down here where it says installation instructions and then just above that you'll see resource packs right there click on that and download that we'll go ahead and do that here we go i already have mine going into my packs folder so the same folder we've been using this is for version 117.10. Right now it's the current version of that. Choose save. There we go. That's done. Let's now go back to our folder. I can close that down. We're done with that. There we go. Okay, here is that resource pack. Now we need to have a couple of things out of this. I'm just going to right click on this. It's a zip file, but I'll right click and I'll open in new window because all we need on this is just a couple of files. I'll just drag them out. So here we go. There's our new window. Now we need this manifest right here and that pack icon PNG. So select both of those and then right drag those over here and choose copy, manifest, and the pack icon. We also need to know where the image should be going. So let's go back in here and it's inside of textures and inside of entity right here and inside of creeper right there. And there's that file creeper PNG. So we need these folders up here. To do that, I'll just put this right there, put our window here right below so I can see that. Click on the new folder button, make a new folder named textures, there it is, go inside of that, new folder, entity, there we go, inside of that one, new folder, creeper, there we go, and then inside of that one, that's where that file goes. Let's go ahead and do that right now. We're also done with this thing back here, that's the zip file, close the zip file down, we're all done with that. Okay, back to our packs folder, let's take this thing, I'm just going to right click and copy, let's go inside of textures, entity, creeper, right click and paste and put it right there. Okay, that's all we need for that part of the resource pack. And the pack icon PNG, this is just what shows inside of your list of resource packs when you load up that resource pack. Now over here, we need to edit this manifest.json file. This is important to do. Now I have mine opening up in Notepad++. It's my preferred program for doing any kind of editing like this. It's a free download. Let me show you where you can get that. And it's right here, notepad++.org downloads you want the latest one, which is that one right there, 8.1.4. I'll put this link also in the description, so you can just click on the link in the description, make it real easy. Let's get that out of the way. Now, Notepad++ won't normally just open up a JSON file, so first make sure you see that JSON right there. If you don't see where it says JSON, go up here to View, and go over here and put a check right there where it says Phonem Extensions. We'll need that later as well, so make sure that you do that one step. You should see that .json now, and if you just installed Notepad++, right-click on that, and come down to open with right here brings up this thing you probably won't see notepad plus plus in your list yet. you'll just see that thing right there so make sure this is checked always use this app to open json files choose more apps and then take a look through this list sometimes you'll see that notepad plus plus right inside here i don't so come down here and choose look for another app on this pc it'll take you into your program files folder and then go up here this little arrow right there click on that and come down to program files x86 right here and scroll down and you'll see notepad plus plus right there go inside of there and there's your notepad plus plus click on that and choose open like that that then opens that file up and it sets it up to always open it up in notepad plus plus in the future so that's all taken care of okay in here a couple things we need to do first off there's this description right up here you need to go right here I'll change this to creeper B there it is and then I'll select that right click copy and right below where it says name I'll do the same thing right there make sure you stay inside those quotation marks just paste like that and then down below here one more time right there so there are three of these to change and choose paste right there okay that's taken care of now there's these two UUID things right there. there's one here and there's one right down here on this we need to change the number at the end now I've just been adding on numbers as I make resource packs and just adding that onto what the number it says here. The last one I used was 12, so I think I'll just use 14 this time. So I add 14 on this, that will make that 36. Go ahead and put that in, there we go, 36, that's fine. And I'll change this one as well right down here, and that makes that 33. There we go, just changing those end numbers right there. Now the reason for that is that this is kind of like a license plate on a car. It has to be different for every single resource pack on your computer. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's click on the Save button right there. That's all done. Close that down. 
and we're now ready to put this into a resource pack. So click on the textures, that's our set of folders. Hold the control key down, click on the manifest JSON and the pack icon right here. And then go up here where it says share and choose zip. It just puts it inside of a zip file. I'm just call this one creeper B. There it is. Now again, we need to see that dot zip right there. If you don't see that dot zip, again, go back and double check your view and that right there, the find them extensions. Okay, we see the dot zip, click into that and then just change that dot zip. So it now says MC pack. Click outside, choose yes here, and that icon should change. If it doesn't change, just back up one step, go back into your packs, and you should see that changed right there. There it is. Okay, now make sure that Minecraft is closed. If it's open, close Minecraft, and then double click on this. We'll then load this into the game. There we go, we'll let this load in. We then need to activate our new pack. Come down here to settings, click on settings. Let this load in our settings. Scroll down until you see global resources right here. Click on that and go into My Packs. You should see your new pack right here. Click on that, choose Activate. Go into Active and double check. There it is, that's all set to go. Go back here where it says Settings. Let that new pack load in. Let's click on Play then, and let's see how this looks in the game. Come down here to Main World. This is my main world that I'm playing on. Let this load in, and we can then check out those creepers. Let me just switch my view here, and let's make a new creeper right there. There we go, there's another one couple of creepers wearing those B-colored t-shirts. There it is. So that easy to edit your mobs inside of NovaSkin. Now, again, NovaSkin is only good up until 2014, but most of your main mobs are in there and it's the easiest way to edit mobs. I'll do a video later on how to edit mobs on the new mobs. It's more difficult, it's more work. So do all everything you can first over there with NovaSkin, get all that stuff out of the way. That's the best way to edit all of these mobs in here. Okay, if you like this video, Hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a whole bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.